All right, part two got cut short there. So that's where that one goes. Moving on, moving on. Okay. Let's see. What's next? What's next? Get a little nicotine in me first. I seem to work better that way. Okay, so we got the grounds, got the trim. Oh, let's do the one in the battery. That's pretty good juice. I got, I used to, ha I have three of these, and anytime I want one, I can find the other two immediately, but not the third. So, what do they do, what we got? So if you remember from the fuses and FET, vid FET video, this is the long wire that comes off the fuse. You remember that? Good. If you don't have a pair of these, I recommend them. They're, uh, they're real cool. Good for the small pieces of wire as well as when you got to get in somewhere tight to strip a piece of wire when the and you can't get you know way up here for the for whatever so let's see. guy in there. So it looks like that. So, so battery feeds the fuses, feeds the fets, feeds the switch, feeds the chip. So yeah, and that's that. What's next? What's next? Let's do these guys. So now, I'm going to figure out how long these need to be. Just a little bit. That's good where that's at. Cut this guy about the same length. Strip it down. I try not to strip a lot off of this one just because it's, you know, if you're going to be vaping at the max, you're pulling 20 watts through here, so I like to leave as much of the regular insulation as possible. I do coat everything with liquid electrical tape, but still, you know, if you drop it or you get in there and start fooling around, which some people like to do, it uh, can, rub, can rub off, and that is a lot of juice to just have 
loose. <laughs> okay, five minutes. So. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, perfect. All right, I'll find and do. on there good so that is what it looks like right there this guy going up in right there and you want to make sure that there's no solder bridges between the pins I made a mistake once and had the uh, I popped the zener because the cap the cap leg was touching the solder part and I just just popped it. Luckily it didn't damage anything else. It was a relatively simple fix. But you know, it could have been worse. So now we have three more things to do. We have to land the trim wire on the end over there or over here. Some people put it over there, whatever. I don't care. I haven't ever had an issue doing it over here. That's why I keep doing it. But some people have, so they they moved it. That's cool too. Whatever. Yeah. I don't care. And if you do do it, if you do it this way and have issues, let me know. You might run into problems that I have been lucky enough to not have. to hear about it. If you do use my videos and build a and build a device, definitely tell me about it. I want to see pictures and you know hear hear what you thought about my videos. I need to find someone who can edit because these fuckers are long and they don't have to be that long. They could be much shorter. And probably more entertaining, maybe with some cool graphics or theme music or speed it up at parts. So now we're going to do the grounds. That's my two. So, got the one coming to the chip and then the one going to the 510. And I know they say you're supposed to land them all in one place but I don't do that and I don't see any problem not doing it that way I land my it's just a few things you know the voltmeter the voltmeter ground and the button ground I land those elsewhere all right is there something else no that's it But I do land the 510 and the chip at the battery sled. Because that's where the real power is being used at. Everything else is just kind of small. I think the LED pulls like, I don't know, I'd have to look at the sheet, but I think it's, I mean, it's super small. And of all the connections on the box, this is probably my least favorite to make. Oh, it actually might go okay this time. Because holding those two fucking fat wires there is a pain in the ass. So, let me show you real quick what I'm doing. 
those right there. So, actually, I'm going to just stick it in place right now. It may change, though. solder creep there yeah, and you want to shake it out real good to get any of the bullshit that collects so go through make sure nothing's gonna shoot sparks anywhere looks pretty good throw some batteries in this is my favorite part of the whole thing oh, it didn't work Oh, that's what it is. Okay, no big deal. These sleds have been known to be off a little bit. And something that I try to do anyway is put a little bit of solder down at the bottom of the contacts just like that right there and that way the battery is less likely to snag on the contacts still nothing I'm on this one hmm so some of it's working it's not the voltmeter. Hmm. That looks good. That up there looks good. I've had a couple of bunk voltmeters lately. I had to change one out the other day. That's all. insulate all that real well at the end. No, that's not it either. Is it fire? Hmm. It's cooking. It's the voltmeter's not working. Son of a bitch. Anyway, the video's long enough. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's what it looks like. Alright.